Clearing zombie cells, reversing back pain at the cellular level. Back pain is one of the most common and debilitating conditions in the world. But what if instead of masking the symptoms, we could actually treat the source of the pain? A groundbreaking study from McGill University may have just uncovered how. Researchers have identified a key culprit behind chronic low back pain, senescent cells, often referred to as zombie cells. These are aging cells that refuse to die. Instead, they linger in spinal discs, causing inflammation, tissue damage, and you guessed it, pain. In their preclinical study, scientists targeted these zombie cells with two compounds, ovanillin, a natural anti-inflammatory agent, and RG71112, a cancer drug known for its cell-clearing capabilities. The result? After just eight weeks of oral treatment in mice, they observed reduced inflammation, decreased pain, and even signs of tissue repair in the spine. Even more surprising, ovanillin wasn't supposed to be part of the study. It was added on a whim, yet turned out to play a powerful role in eliminating senescent cells. When used together with RG7112, the effects were amplified, showing the strongest benefits in reducing pain and restoring spinal health. This is especially exciting because spinal discs are notoriously hard to treat. They're deep, poorly vascularized, and difficult to reach with drugs. Yet this oral therapy managed to penetrate and repair them, a major breakthrough in treating chronic back pain at the root. Looking ahead, the researchers are working on ways to make ovanillin more potent and long-lasting in the body. If successful, this combination could eventually be used to treat not just back pain, but other age-related conditions like arthritis and osteoporosis. This study doesn't just offer hope, it shifts the paradigm. Instead of endlessly managing symptoms, we might finally have a path to actually healing the spine. This video is based on the research paper Senolytic Treatment for Low Back Pain by Lisbeth Hagland et al. in Science Advances. What do you think about this study? Drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.